What's up guys? This is the Braveman and I am back to bring you to the next episode of my Empire Total War Let's Play as the Ottoman Empire. So to round off where we left off, we are being sallied out. Um, sallied at, I suppose, from the garrison here at Yerevan by the last remaining Georgian army. So without further ado, let us crack on. I, I don't remember if this is the last defensive battle we'll have to fight. Probably not. Um, in order to take the region. But once we've taken the region, we will be pushing north into Russian territory. With these forces, at least. We have our main force here outside the city, then we have the smaller force to the north. Okay. So we want to deploy... Or do I just, or do I just deploy... Deploy in their faces and attack. Discard... <laughs> Just not care about the mortars. I think I do just that. Because I've got quite a nice core of reasonable infantry. Especially as I can protect my flanks fairly well. Two units on each flank. Probably a few. Semenes and Azars on the right. I spread out my melee troops and my <laughs> very weak riskers of souls. Oh, pleasantly, they're already. Oh, well, they're already so far away. I was concerned they would deploy up in my face. In which case, then. I will. Deploy in a more conventional formation. Yeah, if they were close, so I'd push up, but they aren't, so I don't think I will. Let's spread my. Israelis out. A bit better than that. The Bashis are in a good spot. My Grenadiers need to have fire well off and probably be a bit more spread out. Risks of souls are few in number, but they're still potent. These weak units can just hunker down. I should put on triple speed actually while this is all going on. So we're firing volley after volley at their howitzers, achieving in reality very little, except, um, except a bit of peace of mind. Just aim for the infantry instead. I used to actually rebalance probably another unit of water up over onto this flank. Probably bring both my weakened units of grenadiers up over onto this flank as well. And my cavalry. Camel's already over there. like their mortars to uh, abandon their guns and then come after me so I can kill them and then swing this flank around to more like rather than being back here to be more like here yeah, that's good here. you hit them you hit these guys don't rub the militia so much you can sort of pivot to face these guys Lots of Tatar, lots of skirmish cavalry, which isn't really a problem. Right now we're just dinking lots of holes into the flank. Okay, so the cavalry's starting to move up. But 
curious if they're oh yeah, they are actually pushing up. So let's push my grenadiers out at speed. Bring my camels out. Bring my cavalry further out. Come on, gunners. Abandon your guns. Made up pick. Good targets to hit. my cows back before they get too embroiled in bow fire they can't really do anything about. Yes, yeah, so they're pushing a, a selection of troops on the left. Charge my camels in because they've got close enough. A slight volley but it's not done much. Keep my cavalry in reserve. Fire it will off because I've just shot some of my camels. So I hope they didn't route too quickly. I do want to get some good kills off on them. Enemy Tartar charging on the right, so let's get one gun to hit them. Another gun to hit this unit of fire like armed citizenry. Keep my camels attacking them for now. Then to hit this unit. It's a pity they didn't get they didn't get them to break, but we can only do so much. These guys are gonna advance into musket fire from my line, so that's pretty good. Hopefully these guys are fast enough they route before they recover. Nope, pity. Okay, firing into the Tartars because they are the side that's facing my infantry, so they should be taking the brunt of the casualties, although I'm starting to get fired upon by their colonial light. So let's retreat. Ah, too bad I lost my camels. Let's fire at will. charge in. Hopefully my camels come back. Can't let my infantry be too unperturbed. What I'm tempted to actually do is something like this. Split my line in half but to maximise my firepower Come on, camels, you've got so much to live for. Yes, they are back. Hit the enemy cavalry. So they are trying to push around the flank, but my men, even though they are Seminese, now oh, actually fighting the 21st, which is already weakened by our pre-game bombardment. You guys hit the... Hit this unit of Tata. Then where you'll slaughter those light cavalry. Let's get my cavalry out of dodge. My units in the square. Fall back. Come on. So I bash these down over here. There's a chance they might actually get, make it to our lines here, but I think our artillery will yeah, round shot will have to do. You provide close fire support against this unit here to support this unit. 
engaging the third regiment of foot. Pity they're in a bit of a dip. Send the bashies in. Keep the bashes going. We can pivot these men to specifically face down this regiment of militia. Get our cavalry back into the action. And over on the right, everything's all pretty stable. Let's get one unit of cavalry to hit. The armed citizenry. Let's run my bashies into the Tatar. Tartars, not Tatars. Let's get this cavalry to do a straight run to try and knock out their field artillery. Open fire. Camel unit charge into them. These cavalry are also going to do a run onto uh, enemy artillery. Bashi should tear these Tartars a new one. Looks like the enemy flank over here is completely broken. Well, I'm happy just to let my men shoot away. There's a bit more micro needed on this flank. Charge the Tartar with my Bashi Bazooks. Push my line up in preparation of probably the general getting away. Delhi horsemen are getting pounded by the howitzers. Hopefully they can move out fast enough to take ground. Yeah, let's probably deploy my general to go try to take out the bad guys. Well, they might get this Delhi horseman unit to route. Yeah, they have. But We've been focusing on them, that leaves my Zamandari horsemen. Let's have a good shout at bringing them to their knees. Enemy general's been taken out by my Bashi Bazooks. Yeah, let's keep my general safe. So we have killed the general. Okay, you guys push up to here. You guys can fire by rank, but you also got to push up. You're very unbalanced, but that's okay. Come on, these horsemen. Continue to mow them down. Okay, let's deploy my general to go cut down the third regiment. Fire with my artillery. And speed up time. I think probably. Now oh, the general came back, but my I actually saw them off. Some horsemen are going to mow down. They're going to finish mowing down their artillery. The general, try to kill as many of them as you can. Cavalry have tried to get as many of them. These horsemen are going to be fighting an uphill battle trying to uh, knock out as many cavalrymen as they can. 
general's on an absolute mission to murder every every Georgian that he can get his hands on. Then also eventually work his way up here to support the attacks of his comrades. Camels have got no one to kill. So everyone work your way back to this unit of foot. Damn right it was decisive. It's a lovely, a lovely kill. Lost 500 men, they've gone down to 1800. Speed up time. So, we are, we're doing quite well in Central, what do you call that? Not Central Asia. Um, the Caucasus region, I suppose. Um, spend some money making sure you guys get back up to strength, even though that's a lot of money. Do you have the Austrians on the offensive? You are probably safe from most attacks. Old Mehmet over here. He has to push down over here and intercept. I'll get ready to intercept these guys. You guys start to build some Israeli as much as many as you can, despite our cash flow problem. We still do have an army here, but it's just to keep an eye on what the Brits are doing. It's probably a bit much just to keep an eye on the Brits. Military academies, lots of military buildings, major fishery in Syria, and a dockyard in Anatolia. So this major fishery can now build fourth rates, and so can this dockyard. But I don't have the cash to support them. Okay. We've got a bunch of troops, elite troops recruited in Ankara. We've got Beylik Janissaries and Sekban Janissaries. So they can also join the garrison at Istanbul. They should be fairly secure. They've got walls, they've got a solid core of infantry, they've got a cool looking cavalry unit, and they've got some reinforcements coming in from the capital. Can't move these guys. Because they are who they are what's keeping my uh, <laughs> keeping my city in line. Because you have a very high clamour for reform. Okay, okay, let's maybe. Are you being upgraded? No, not yet. Okay, Sari. Um, you're pr probably better off trying to improve the. I don't know, growth of our towns is important. That's Damar Ali, our drill master over here. He's done pretty well. Um, let's check our Dagestan out. Allied with Georgia, a whole bunch of protectorates, but none of them are going to probably going to cause a massive problem. Plains nations, not naval going, not not naval nation, neither the Pueblo nations. The Knights of St. John, we want to kill anyway. Savoy. Yeah, well, there's a lot of Central Italian nations which you might not necessarily want to wind up. Hmm. Yeah, and there's the British army gone to take Reykjavik. So I'd rather, I'd rather they do that than uh, than give it the well. Really, we couldn't we couldn't afford to reinforce the territory. Really, that's the main problem. Especially when the Austrians are clearly pushing. Poland is offering cash. No, you're allied with Russia, one of our enemies, so no. I hear the Knights of St. John. They're on the move again. Knocking out the Barbary States, but we do need to grow the Turkish Navy. The Mughal Empire will be coming after us soon. Georgia aren't sallying out. But that makes no massive difference to us. 
because we are willing to wait. Yeah, my main concern is the strength of our economy to support the large expansion of forces. So that's our Iceland garrison. Gone. Really, I should have tried to destroy as much of the... Uh, that's a fifth rate. You're probably not going to get back here safely, but let's try it. Dana has grown. So what does Egypt need? Ah, yes, I was contemplating a university here, wasn't I? But I've already got three. And that's overkill. So Dana shall grow into a craft workshop. You can see there's there's so much stuff we can spend... Well, there was so much stuff we could spend money on. But we've just got to be really... Uh, again, so you're very poor. Growing poor, poor. Still got Yerevan under siege. You need to be upgraded. Let's get these troops into the capital. As you can see, they are bringing forces forward, ready for the assault. We got spinning mule. So, no, don't go down this track. Okay, we need to build the naval ball. I don't want to, but I need to, to progress down this track. I'd rather upgrade some of my economic buildings. Don't really need the happiness in Cairo. The barracks might be handy just to provide more research points for military tech and they're quite cheap to build. 70,000. But it doesn't provide money. Money is what I need. So Meagild Vineyard will add a tiny amount of growth. Tiny amount of cash. You need another turn to replenish before we have a mighty battle with a large Austrian force. Okay, so this army down here may have to redeploy to the west. a lot of turns but we can get you I oh, know we've already redeployed this guy west yeah we did we brought him over, brought him over by ship hmm Greece is looking delicate Okay, I think the best option is to continue to expand the Istanbul garrison, A, to throw off whatever siege may come our way, but also to be in a good position to advance. You guys just take your time to secure Yerevan. I don't need any rushes or mistakes. Hmm. Could probably do a great arsenal by upgrading that in Anatolia. Yeah, I think I might build another Israeli in Istanbul to throw back whatever's going to come our way. Let's see, I would like to bring you forward to swap out some of these more more um, awkward troops. Because they're moving... Cavalry, militia. This large army is a concern because they're pretty elite. So I'll be relying a lot on my artillery, but then again, I don't have very much of that. I can't yet recruit howitzers yet. Sure, so working down the new model bayonet drill. Can I not get howitzers at all? Should be able to get some in Ankara, surely. Not, apparently not. I can't move these guys. OK, 
Okay, I'm gonna get Konya working on Wealth of Nations. It'll increase unhappiness, which will increase my garrison problem here at Ankara. But then again, Sinop is growing in three turns, which will allow me to build a happiness building, so that's not... We can deal with that. We can deal with that. Okay. They're regrouping their forces. We will... fight that because I'm not in a position <laughs> to uh, throw away troops willy-nilly like I am draining my balance every turn I have no no excess so even though this seems super wasteful um, that's because it is Feline and Riskers of Souls behind my Semenes. And my Bashi Bazooks behind my Israelis. Camels and Cavalry, get ready. Okay, all my to focus on these Hussars. So they do have a hidden infantry component but I'm not bothered about them yet so these guys keep reloading keep engaging Let's see how it looks from the eye of an artillery observer damn that was a good shot The job of these men is just to stay in position. One more volley should see them off, particularly at this angle. Okay, let's do this again. Oops. Oh, great hits. Some hits, but not not brilliant hits. I'm okay if I want to go this way, because this is where my camels are. Change my artillery target against the light hussars. They're going to find themselves in trouble, these lancers. They are on the slope, they are slightly on a reverse slope though. There they go, there's the Irregulars. light horse because they decided to go after my Mamelukes which is a good idea. Too bad. Let me softened up a bit. Okay charge in. Definitely charge in. See if I can get some good kills on them before they come back. There we go. They have fire by rank. So I will need to over overrun their positions in later battles becomes that much more important. They've really booked it. Keep chasing them down though. Don't let them reform.
top the artillery fire as well as well, it's only this guy's musketry that will be a problem so let's hold that damaging the cavalry as much as possible is great Oop. absolutely continue but killing their infantry is better Weak cavalry is is terrible in battle, whereas weak infantry is just annoying. <laughs> that's, that's my general breakdown. Let's hold fire and roll there. Good stuff. Maximize the destruction of their forces for the minimal damage to my own. I may even push that army up. And I can probably then move well, move troops from Greece north to replace some Feline musketeer units with Israeli units. Probably bring the Feline over to Istanbul to bolster the garrison in an easy way. Probably would like to build some melee infantry <laughs> to sit up on the walls because if there's one thing I can't, that, I, that to me just sounds absolutely awful. It's assaulting a wall that's got a bunch of guys with swords on top of it, particularly if you can't blow your way through. Good. good bunch of cash that turn because we've repaired our port. Okay, so Greece. You've only got one unit of Israeli. Let's bring them up. So let's take a unit of Semeni out. Oh, to be honest, sorry Semeni, you can be disbanded. Balancing more towards Let's see if I, if, I get in, if, if I get involved in war with Denmark, these guys get involved. And to be honest, this is now Denmark's only home. Denmark is still alive because I traded away this territory. Um, let's... Okay, so over here, let's... Okay, you are building new military buildings and a new naval building. Let's do this. Let's take this ship sprint him back as fast as he can to, and a, to this territory. Let's build a fourth rate ship of the line. Let's get the naval drumbeat going. I don't want to build two because I do want to upgrade I do want to upgrade um, some of my economy. It's two possible roads to bolster growth even more. Okay, so you're not currently exploit experiencing a problem with exporting. So building a cotton warehouse is, is interesting, but I want to make sure I get the best yield. Let's go for Syria, fairly arbitrarily. And then let's pick the towns that have got growth problems. Mashhad's about to be built, which is up here on the border. To be honest, not many of our towns have growth problems. But farms are pretty good, cheap things to upgrade, really. I can get around to upgrading. Actually, if I dismantle this farm, I can upgrade you to a Craft workshop. Oh, I can still upgrade you to a farm. Oh, just one second, guys. The door has rung. And I'm back. Um, but to be honest, there's not a lot I can really do. I've spent all my money. I can repair this madrasa. To be honest, let's just try and fix some of the damage they've done to my territory. Um, yeah, I think that's a good idea. Cool. But because I've overran slightly... Um, I'm going to end the part there. So thanks for watching, guys. Hope you've enjoyed, and we'll see you next time for the continuing adventures of the Ottoman Empire. Cheers, everyone.